Spirit of God is raising up more millionaires. Now, those of you that know me, you know I don't prophesy money like that. If you scroll my page, you'll rarely see any prophetic word about money. I don't think even maybe one here on Instagram. I prophesied this years and years ago on Facebook. The reason is not because of what many of you think. Not simply so people can go living around in luxury and just be lazy. No, there's actually purpose behind it. First reason is to fund the gospel. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, the gospel didn't need funding in the early days. <laughs> yes, it did. Not only did Jesus them have a money box that Judas was in connection with, Jesus had wealthy people connected to his ministry. For example, Joanna, the wife of Chusa, who was Herod's uh, household manager. The rich man whose tomb he was buried in. Not to mention the cost of shipping and printing Bibles, traveling overseas to preach the gospel, which is why I'm not against pastors having jets, unless they're greedy. Number two, helping the poor. You can't consistently give to the poor if you're broke yourself. We can't depend on the government to do it. We as the body of Christ are called to be a living entity aside from that. If we really did our jobs, there would be less homeless people. Number three, a test. God is testing many people whenever he makes them this, see if they still stick with them. And it's just not limited to the United States, though it's here in the U.S. I don't know if this is you or not, but if it is, be obedient to God and take note. Follow for more. Now, if you want to learn more about spiritual warfare, how to overcome lust, how angels fight for your blessing and more, click the link in my story or bio for my three-day course on spiritual warfare. See you there.